Hey, Alyssa. Oh, it's my turn. I'm sorry. Hi. Oh, it's oh. you. Hi. It's your time with Jeremy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you still remember me, but I was in one of your fan casts last year. Um, I do remember you. My, my sister, she came in randomly at some point. <laughs> she crashed the fan Hi. cast. It's all good. That, that we're, we're good with that here. We, we don't mind. We uh, love when people cast. crash. <laughs> yeah. You look great today. You look great. Thank you so much. You do too. I, I especially love the, uh, the Keith Voltron. Uh, is that a hoodie? Yeah, it's a hoodie. Try, I, yeah, I, I literally begged for it for Christmas from my parents. They got it. <laughs> they got it. That's awesome. So anyway, um, oh, I can't sleep. Um, when so my question, uh, so we you mentioned something about being a teenager being hard and all earlier and stuff, and it's confusing. Yeah. So uh, my question is, when you were a teenager. What would you consider one of your biggest obstacles or hardships, like in general, not just in the acting industry? Or, and how did you overcome it? Like, would you give us advice from your experience or something? Good question. I would love to. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, I think. Well, I think uh, one of the biggest things that's. Uh, I mean, this is this goes for I'm sure a lot of people. But when you're when you're a teenager, you're just like obviously you're filled with a lot of hormones and you're just awkward. And, you know, it's like, I think it's always that thing. Like you, you hit that age and like, you have like a crush on someone, but you have no idea what to do with it. Uh, and, and like, you're just awkward. It's, I think people assume that because I do, um, acting or, or, you know, you do things like comedically, uh, and music and all these things that you're like, just naturally a very like suave, confident, um, person, but that's not always the case. Like everyone I feel like has, certain things they do that they're confident in, but that does not transcend to every single part of everything. You know, it's kind of that fake it till you make it. I don't, <laughs> you know, even, even when I started acting, I started as a little kid and then I hit a certain age where I was like, Oh, I have to actually like, you know, make this like a craft instead of just playing make believe basically. <laughs> and so, you know, that was, that, that was a hard transition. I, I joke. I mean, I'm not joking. I, when I was a little kid I did acting and then, and then you hit this age where you become very self-conscious about everything. And I, I had a, for a while I had a problem, like even just smiling as it is not like, not in gen, like not as a person, but like in, um, in the context, like an audition or a scene or something, I, I couldn't even, I was so awkward. Like I had no idea how to do it. Like I would, I would try and it just, it felt unnatural. And I, um, I couldn't do like, emotional scenes i just i would start like laughing like i couldn't do any type of not even crying to the extent where you have tears but like even just like crying without tears type scenes so um at 12 you just become so weirdly aware of everything not everything but like of yourself and you're just so self-conscious there's there's times when like uh you get conscious of like what your hands are doing and if, if you start thinking about your hands you just you're like where, where do i put them i don't even know um, and that obviously translated not only from, from work stuff for me, but also just to, you know, to like friendships. I think a, a big challenge is I started working for an early age. So I was always around adults, um, working with adults. And so I could, I could have a conversation with an adult in work and it wasn't weird. I could carry a very good conversation. Um, and I had two older brothers. And so I felt like I, kind of mentally matured faster than most people my age. And so when I started hanging out with more people my age, um, I was so socially awkward. I had no idea. Like I felt like the most uncool person in the whole world. And my best friend at the time was like kind of the classic, like, you know, like, think about like the, 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 the junior high Justin Bieber type person. And that was like my best friend. So he was like, he had like the, the J Biebs, like the hair, uh, like the cool hoodies and stuff. It was just very like flirty. And I'm like all the, all, all the girls would like swoon basically. And I was just kind of there being like, Hey, what's going on? Like, yeah, I, uh, I was very, I was very awkward in, in junior high and uh, early, early teenage years. But I think that the good thing, the piece of advice that I would give to all of it is um, we all go through like awkward phases and, you know, phases where you're trying to figure out what you're, what you're like yourself, what your personality is. Um, I think the main thing is to find people who enjoy you for you, not for a version of you that you put on. Um, you know, it's, it's, you want to find the friends that, 
uh, you can be comfortable around just being yourself, you know? And ultimately, um, you want to find someone who, who likes the actual you. And I think the biggest thing is just to be confident in who you are. You know, if you're a dork, uh, and you make dad jokes 24 seven um, and you're just really goofy, own it, you know, be confident that there's no reason to, to try and act cooler <laughs> than you are. <laughs> like, Would you describe think, yourself uh, as that? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I, I, I am a, I'm a total dork. I'm, I'm very, I'm very dorky. My, uh, my wife, uh, pity laughs for a lot of my, my dorky dad, dad jokes. And, oh, and I'm no. very thankful for that. Uh, she, she, she laughs at how bad my jokes are. And that makes me, that makes me happy. Uh, but yeah, that's, I'm, I'm very dorky. I mean, and she'll tell you too, but that's, that's one of the reasons that I, uh, I'm glad that I found the person I have because she loves my dorkiness. And if you're going to be around someone 24 seven, you want them to love the things that are, are that, you know, you want them to, to love the little quirks that you have. That's uh, that's the most important thing. So be yourself. You know, and find people that like who you are. So you didn't have like any school drama or anything, like school drama, like oh, issues? oh, I did. I, I feel like um, <laughs> I feel like I mean, I, I guess I I don't know what like extremely. I feel like I didn't have some extremely crazy serious thing. I felt like all the things that I uh, were was way too worried about at the time. I think feel so much less important now, and so I don't even think about it being a big thing. You know, I think it was like as stupid as just uh, for, for me, at least. I, I'm sure a lot of people have much more actual teenage hardships than, than I ever did. So I don't want to make it seem like my experience was, was bad. I was just awkward. Um, and, you know, had like one of those things where like you, you have a crush on someone and, and, and they don't like you back, that type of stuff. So like it was very, uh, <laughs> looking, back, looking back now, it was very, I mean, the most simple stuff that everyone goes through as a teenager generally. So I don't, I don't think I had some ex extremely um out of the norm experience uh just just the same i think awkwardness that everyone goes through as a, as a teenager but so you never were like bullied or anything or you never experienced that um i don't think i was ever i mean it, definitely not to the sense that i would call bullying i mean i think people i've you know it, you go through ages where people make jokes that are they're kind of they're kind of mean jokes at times, but I mean, people, kids are honestly, kids are, uh, kids can be dumb. I don't even, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you, you just kind of learn to get over it. I mean, I, I, that, that said, like what I consider the stuff that I was said to me at times, like I look back and laugh on it. Maybe it, maybe it hurt more in the moment, but now it's not a big deal. I mean, I think the stuff that I faced was definitely nowhere near what I've seen kids today face. And that's, that's crazy to me because that's only in like what, 10 years. Uh, I feel like people have become way more vitriolic and just mean spirited in the past 10 years even. Um, and yeah, I mean, I didn't face anything like that bad, like really stupid, really dumb jokes that weren't even like, not even a smart joke, like not even a smart put down joke, just like really dumb stuff. So it, I think people now face a lot worse bullying than I ever did. And it, it, it I, I feel bad, I, you know, for people that go through that. It sucks. It's horrible. You know, I think social media and, and kind of right now it's, it's hard for people to get away from it too. And so I think that's the thing that's the, the, the most, the most bad, like even at my age, social media wasn't really a thing. And so, um, yeah, if someone said something, you go home and that's kind of the end of it. Uh, but now it's like that stuff follows people. So that's, it's, it's much harder. I feel like you're really lucky. Sure, yeah. Thank you. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Hindsight's 2022, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, hindsight's 2020. I don't, I don't know if you have been bullied or if that's something that, that happens. Have, that maybe you have, have. You have? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. I, I, hope, I hope you have at least somebody that you can, you can talk to and kind of, you know, go to to escape from it. Because I think that's the most important thing is even just well, finding one friend. No, I, it was the past. I've grown up from it, but then it was still a really yeah. bad experience. But then I like to look at the side that I actually learned something from it and that I've become yeah. a better person because of what happened to me. So I, mm -hmm. I just, I, I know it's kind of ironic, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Totally. That's I think that's a, that's a great way to look at it. I think, you know, you can, you, you can have a bad experience or people can do things to you, but if you can get through it and become stronger for it, uh, you know, you know, whatever, it's a, it's a very cheesy phrase, but whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You know, it's, it's that kind of thing where 
you go through life experiences and there's there's bad things that happened and things I wish I wouldn't happen. But ultimately, the farther down you get from it, you're you're glad for different reasons. There's always a weird silver lining to everything and you and you grow so much as a person. Um, so yeah, the bad experiences, just as much as the good ones kind of make us who we are at times. So I'm, I'm glad you, I'm glad you have that mindset. I'm, uh, I hope things are in a better place now for you. Thanks, Jeremy. You're welcome. Of course.